to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. The Wild have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. Huge steal in his own end. Levels him with the hit. He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message and dictate the pace. Michaels taking the puck behind the net. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Haas is a star goalie in this league who plays confidently. Champions is good at taking possession from puck drops, guys. His quick draw zone ability means he can win those matchups. Now, as they send it back upstairs, Albert scores! side two. Play whistle dead offside the call. Lots of time left in this period. We got a one nothing game to this point. Minnesota's won the faceoff at center. Champions across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Here he is from the slot. They score! And that's back-to-back -back But it feels like there's a wave of the momentum and it has certainly changed here. You can get in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Minnesota's got lots of jump in their step tonight. They put lots of pucks on net already. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. It all. Slick feed. Quick pass to Silverberg. A little crash and a bam forces the turnover. Koivu's taking it from his own end. Moves it quickly over to Silverberg. Taking possession in their own end. Dishes it to Strome. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Oh, and he just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Washington's on the attack. Dubnik's been great to start this season. I mean, he's got an excellent save percentage. His team's been winning games, and he starts another one with an incredible save. He's had a lot of offensive zone possession time, and you got to figure he knows he's one goal away from his next milestone. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Jostles for the puck, but still hangs on. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Minnesota's in on the offensive attack now. Reads it perfectly and comes up with the takeaway. The Capitals have been playing great defensively. Their sticks are in the right position, but they need to make good on them. This game is awfully close. Oh, that was a hot sauce on that hit. And a strong effort on that play. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Unable to reach that one. One-time blast. The noise of he got all of it. Oh. 
Minnesota's high activity in the offensive zone has resulted in them leading here midway through the first. Michaels won the draw inside his own end. Slides the puck to Johns. Quick shot, and that's off target as it hits a body. Pushes it across to Oshie. And he takes the dish. Shot from the wall. Sizzling shot, and he makes the save. Drives to the paint, denies him. The shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Receives the pass. Directed over to Mantha. Here's a short pass to Oshi. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Uh-oh, and a board-rattling hit right there. Well, certainly was lined up perfectly, body on body, weight distributed right in there. Rocks him into the boards. Rocks him on the play. Slides the puck to Wilson. Washington's looking to break out. Puck picked up by Jensen. Feeds it on over to Ovechkin. Moves it to Wilson. Takes it to the front. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Picked up here in the neutral zone by Ovechkin. Oh, and some lost momentum as the puck leaves the zone. Break away. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Such an impressive save, James. I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position, it's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out battling and out willing everyone around you. More than half the period has expired. Two nothing is where we sit. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Haas robs his opponent after that last save, and you can just see the shooter is in disbelief. Can't believe he came up with that one. But what it does is it sends a message to his team to start playing. They score! And what a counter punch they serve up! Well, you said a counter punch. You know the coach is going to love this, this quick, timely response. When you look down your bench, you got to know that there's personnel that can go out there and provide some energy for your team. They just did it. have jumped right back into this one here in the first. Well, they certainly have, and they found their momentum late in the period here, James, as they counter and they get themselves back in the game within one. Puck grab by Prosser. Quick feed to Champion. And a strong physical collision on the play there. There's another stop. Well, goaltenders can't make the save if they can't get in front of the puck, James, so he anticipates this so well. But it's also skating. That power push cross crease makes the save. Johns brings it in from center. Pumps it away in his own end. Slides it diagonally to Goudreau. Devastating collision into the boards. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Scoops up the puck. And that's off a stick. The Capitals have it against the wall. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Minnesota's got possession here in the offensive zone. The Capitals will play it in their own end. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Taken along the wall by Stahl. Denies him in close. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. With some open space at center. Puck exits the zone. Big hit and that frees up possession. He says, let's get physical on that play. From the left side, they gain the zone. Gets the puck in deep. Grabbed along the board by Milano. Chance in front! Minnesota's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. Kuznetsov's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. And that was a good heads-up read to make that save. 
Boss play continues. Can you feel the love tonight? Listen to this place here, Sean. I can feel it, you can feel it, and he can feel it after that last save. Because you know what fans appreciate? They appreciate effort, James, and that's how that save was made. Well, they always say, to be great, you have to get uncomfortable. As we look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save, that's what he did, and that's why the save was made. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. They take possession as he locks them up off the face-off. Quick pass to Koibu. Take a shot. Hey, a lot of people excited as this opening period comes to an end. One of the all-time great rock acts from the 80s getting set to play here for these fans. And we'll catch our Brad back with more in a moment. Period number two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Haas faces right after that first 20 minutes, James. He was peppered all over the ice. I mean, his team needs to shore it up and be better in front of him. The only reason they're in this game is because of him. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. It's 2-1. Minnesota's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Turns it aside with the glove. Well, all those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave, trying to find that puck. He does and makes a save. Minnesota's got the lead on the scoreboard. A big reason of that has been the amount of pucks that they've been putting on net. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Capitals get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Wilson. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Excellent stick work on the play. Passes over to Ovechkin. Poked away in the defensive end. Johns has it in the defensive end. With possession along the wall. Picks off the pass. Here's a short pass to Wilson. Make a change. Make a change. He's in the middle. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Minnesota's got it against the boards. Champions got the puck. Pinned up along the boards. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Takes the puck. Moves it to Silverberg. And that goes off his blocker. Picked up along the wall by Silverberg. They are really starting to apply the pressure here in the offensive end. Haas has it and freezes the play. Champion's been lighting the lamp with this point streak, playing so confident. He knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time he makes his way towards the net, the puck's going in. Koibu's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Works it across to Burns. Picks off the feed. Washington's got it in the offensive zone. Slides the pass over to Burns. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Fires it. Stones him with the blocker. Quick feed to Niskanen. And he takes the pass. Stops him with the glove. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Minnesota's been just savage in the offensive zone and they lead it here in this second period. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Washington's got him along the wall. And he had an answer with that save. Quick feed to Granlin. Back to the blue line. Puts it on that big save in front. Cops up possession of the puck. Moves it to the middle. A blast. Here's a shot. And there's a close save on the play. And this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you're a shooter right in the slot and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it, you got to be fast, you got to be quick and show those reflexes. He does that and makes the save. Beats the puck to Edmondson. Gaining momentum up along the side. Turns it over. Big hit on the play. Quick pass to Enroth. And a big time save on a big time shot. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow. Haas 
has been great tonight, James, and you can't ask more of your tender than that. I mean, he's been under siege in terms of the shots. He's making key saves and timely ones at that. Now it's his team to back him up and find a way to get going more. Assumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Stall 
Wells won the draw here in the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Novak's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Takes possession off the draw. Rocks him on the play. The Wild have possession along the boards. Washington's crossed the line and on the attack. Oh, she's penalty is almost expired. Blows him up on that hit. Being on the power play is a privilege. Trust me, I know I was never on it. Always on the PK. So for those players who didn't execute, yes, they are. Scores! Well, they needed something, and that clearly was something, Cheryl. That certainly was, and there's some pushback, but they're going to need to layer it because they've got to get closer than within two if they want to find a way back in this game. But just a blistering one-timer shot from that high slot area that beats the goaltender here, James, but how does he get lost in coverage in that area? Washington's finally got the counterpunch they need. Now, can they do it again, Cheryl? That's the question. Well, they need the knockout punch, don't they? And if they're going to get two and claw their way back in this one, but the momentum's in their favor right now. But it's their choice to do something with it. Quick pass to Silverberg. And he takes the feed. Oh, it serves up a little too sweet with that save. Minnesota's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. Kuznetsov's won the draw here in their own zone. Solid check to slow him down. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Handles the pass. Moves it quickly over to Kuznetsov. And this is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. And here's the pass to Mantha. And called for the offside, we'll get a face-off. Buffalo's learned how to surprise incoming checkers with a reverse hit, guys. This can really help limit the brunt of big body checks, and that's his back at your zone ability. Michael's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. Here in the late goings of the period, it's 4 2. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. And he throws it wide of the net. Oh, this is a tough game, and you got to fight for your scoring chances, James. And this just seems like a waste when he misses wide. Drills him. Scores. There he is, TJ Oshie. Not Sochi anymore. He just continues to score. We got to give some credit to the shooter here, James. A quick release shot makes it difficult for the goalie to get set to position. And when you're a little late, you can get a piece of it but it still winds up in the back of the net. The Capitals get the break they need here late in the second. Sometimes when it gets late in a period, you have more urgency in your step, and they were certainly more aggressive in that last shift, and it showed, and they attacked the net. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Johns is such a creative player. If he sees an opening, you know he's going to take it. He's an aggressive style player, and he tries to attack. But when he does it there, he loses the puck. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. The Capitals have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. The Capitals work it through center. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. There's an injection of energy with that hit. Moves the puck along the half wall. Shot! Rebound and pokes it away. What a hit on the play. Oh, my. Big save right at the end. Well, there you go. We played 40 minutes. Final chance for the coaches to push their messages home. And we'll see the third period coming up in just a matter of moments. If the home team scores,
scores in the next two minutes. in the books now played. How do you view this one? The Capitals are behind in this game. They just haven't been on the puck. They haven't had their legs under them. They haven't been urgent, which means they've been chasing the game. And now it's to Carlson. Nice zone entry on the left side. Quick pass. in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And off the draw center, they take control of the puck. Odd man rush. He got all of that one. Sends it in front. And that's stopped. Boom! Wow! What a thunderous hit there! Uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, he gets nailed. And now he passes up to Silverberg. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that shot dies in traffic. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. Gets the puck over to Koivu. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Takes a shot. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Washington's across the blue line. Sends it across. Comes up with a monster save in front. Shooters are so strong today on that cross crease pass. You've got to be able to read, anticipate that it's coming, and he does it perfectly. He's got a step. Oh, and I think he got confused what he was going to do there. You can see him looking at the goaltender, whether he's going to shoot or deke, and while he's thinking, he's running out of real estate. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Gains the zone on the left wing. Slides it diagonally to Polino. And he lowers the ball there. And the goaltender comes up on a piece of it to keep it out of the net. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself... Oh, he saved it! Oh, my goodness, what a stop! Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. And it's a much-needed whistle for the injured player who's down on the ice. Key rules to the game of hockey. One of them is you have to be aware of your surroundings and have your head on a swivel. He isn't, and he takes a huge hit. More than half the period left to play. We got a tie game. Michaels won the draw here in the neutral zone. Scrum ensues along the boards. Quick pass over to Kuznetsov. And he slides it quickly to Edmondson. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Dubnik. <laughs> Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And a solid stop on the play there. Denies him again. The Wild have taken control of the puck. Heatley's got it on the offensive end. Moves it to Cullen. Way too much congestion blocks that. Sends it over to Wilson. Quick feed to Ovechkin. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. More than half the frame has been played here. It's all tied up. And they'll start with possession. 
Center wins that one clean. Everyone's ready for the puck. They know they're attacking now with a tired group that they're playing against. Throws one up to Ovechkin. Levels them with the hit. Washington's coaches have to be happy with the way they've had that mental fortitude and physical engagement to come back in this game, James. It hasn't been easy, but they found a way to get themselves back in. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Didn't mean to step on you like that, James, but looked at that hit and it just took me off guard. Shot. Oh, excellent playing goal there. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Ovechkin's going to play it against the half wall. Blocked away by Dubnik. Dubnik's got that post-to-post -post zone ability, which means he's great at reading those cross-crease chances and shutting them down. It's what makes him such an effective goaltender, guys. Washington's won the faceoff. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And the player's whistle dead. Here's the call. Once the stick engages at the lower half of the leg or within the skates, you know it's going to be a tripping call. Washington's got a great opportunity here on the power play. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice, the setup, the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. And he made the save to keep that one out of the net. You know the goalie's dialed in when he redirects the puck to the corner. Gets it out of his own end. Washington's got the puck. Quick pass to Goudreau. Takes the feed. And lowers the boom time hit. Well, this is a message-sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from Pop, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. Goudreau's got it against the boards. Centering pass! Oh, he comes up with a stop. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Nets off at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. From the left into the middle of the neutral zone. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Oh, wow! Devastating hit there! Oh, painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. Drills him. And he can't hang on after that hit. Sends it quickly for Cullen. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. They've got a two-on-one. Great save on the play. Oh, my goodness. Handles the puck at the point. And he'll hang on to the puck for a much well, and this is huge, James. The ability to slow the game down, get a line change. There's no one happier than the coach right now. Check in with our own Carlin Bade. Who had the better night in that head-to-head -head matchup with the Stars? Champion, it's been exciting again tonight, guys. He gets in on the box score, and you can bet he'll feel satisfied with his Over. contributions. Moves into the slot. Turned aside. Oh, that was huge. Well, it's a timely save, James. There's no question about it. I mean, the shooter, he knows how important this opportunity is, and he's not able to execute. He wanted to be a difference maker. Rocked him in the open ice. Oh, she's lugging the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Goudreau. Silverberg's not been ready to get back on the ice. Look at this! Slides it across! Scores! Goaltender couldn't figure it out, and it winds up at the back of the net. 
Minnesota's gone up by one here in period number three. Uh, and you know that they recognize that they've got the lead in the third period, so they have to be defensively responsible, but you can't just sit back and protect. You gotta be aggressive when you get the moment and take advantage of it. Puck scooped up by Niskanen. Moves it on over to Stahl. There's the collision, and look who's hit again. Well, he's been a punching bag tonight, James. He's gonna have to find a way to get out of the way. He recognizes that the coverage is sagging, so that means there's more time and space for him to walk into that powerful slap shot in stride. He does it, and he beats the goaltender. Minnesota's coaches have to be impressed with what they're seeing from their players tonight. All sorts of scoring chances, and they lead late in the third. Stalls won the drop center. Grabs the puck. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Minnesota's working the transition through the middle of the ice. The Capitals are across the line and into the offensive end. Here's a chance! Good save! Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Michaels won the draw here in the defensive zone. Coming up on the final minute of regulation time. There's a firm collision. Washington's trailing. That's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. Directs it on over to champion. Moves inside! Oh, it comes up with nothing on the play! That's more than a missed shot, James. It's an opportunity to get back in this game. Listen, when you're trailing in the third period, you have to utilize every opportunity to your advantage, and that's a massive miss. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Great timing to come up with the interception. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. The Capitals scoop it up along the boards. My goodness, look at this. The pressure is really starting to cook. Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. Face-off coming up, and Cheryl, a critical one at that for both sides here. Well, you know that the goaltender is extremely fatigued. I mean, just look at the last shift. I mean, in their own zone, finding ways to get the puck out. And, of course, the opponent just owning play, hemming them in, and finding ways to get the puck to the net. So they got scores! And look who's at it again! Well, it's the second of the game. Too bad you can't bottle these games up and just recall them whenever you want because he's been all around the net. With the extra attacker with the goalie pull, they have the coverage running, and they certainly find the opportunity to get it to the middle of the ice, and man, do they bury it. Minnesota's looking to close things out here. They've been the dominant team all night. Hard to see them taking their foot off the gas now.